In this video, we'll consider the trend for bond angles in CH4, NH3, and H2O. So we have methane, ammonia, and water. So we have Lewis structures here, and Lewis structures are good. They give us an idea of where the electrons and atoms are arranged around an atom, but they're very two-dimensional. They don't tell us a lot about the molecular geometry or shape of these molecules. So let's look at this. We have CH4, which has a steric number of four. There are four things around it, in this case, four hydrogens, and no lone pairs. Steric number of four with no lone pairs, that gives us this tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angle, you might not be able to see it very clearly here, it says 109.5. So each of the bond angles is 109.5. For the NH3, when we look at the molecular geometry and bond angles, we still have four things around it. So our steric number is four. One, two, three, four. One lone pair, steric number of four, trigonal pyramidal. So this lone pair here changes the shape but we still have a bond angle of 109.5 because we're considering that these four things are spreading out and pushing against each other and giving us this 109.5 bond angle. If we look at water, now we have two lone pairs. We still have four things around it, two hydrogens and two lone pairs. So our steric number is four and two lone pairs. This is a bent molecular geometry. And again, because these four things spread out, the generic bond angle for this is 109.5. So this is really helpful for us to understand the molecular geometry of these molecules. Do note that the electron geometry, these are the electron domains, they all have four things around them. We consider their electron geometry for all of them to be tetrahedral. They do have different molecular geometries though. Let's take a look at the bond angles though and the effect of these lone pairs. So here we have methane, carbons in the center, four hydrogens. When we look at this, we see they're all spread out. It's a very symmetrical molecule. It has that tetrahedral molecular geometry, and its electron geometry is also tetrahedral. If we look at the bond angles, it's that ideal 109.5 that we saw before because it's a very symmetrical molecule. If we look at ammonia, now we have that one lone pair. You can see the shape is different. These are forced down. These hydrogens are forced down a little more. That's because this lone pair here, it occupies more space. And because it occupies more space, it's pushing the hydrogen atoms down further and they're closer together. Our bond angle now for NH3 is 107.8. If we think about water, we have two lone pairs. So what happens with two lone pairs? Here's our water. And we can see that these two lone pairs take up quite a bit of space. They're forcing the hydrogen atoms down and they're closer together. Now we have a bond angle for H2O of 104.5. So you can see the trend as we add lone pairs, they, because they take up more space and they repel the things around them, that forces the other atoms down lower, closer together, and the bond angles decrease. This is Dr. B considering the bond angles for methane, ammonia, and water. Thanks for watching.